Okay, so here's the dilemma. Now, um, I have these really, these two really great cooling fans. They're very high CFM for what they are. They're they're not squirrel cage. They're not the you know the other kind of cooling, but they're they're actually like eleven and a half CFM. They can go nine thousand RPMs. Uh, so I'm using those for print cooling. Now the problem is, you'll see in a second. I'm going to let this. I'm heating up the the print head to two thirty for the heck of it. Now. I'm going to come over here to control, and I'm going to just turn the fan on. Ready? You saw it was 2.30, and fan on. Boom! 2.27. And 2.19. 2.30. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, two ten. Like I, I, I joked about this, like blowing out a candle here. Two oh eight. I don't know how. Two oh five. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Okay, not really great. I can, I can feel, you know, the bouncing. Uh, you know, anyway, ridiculous amount of cooling. Two hundred, right? Unusable at this point. Now, um, one ninety seven point nine. It's dropping. You know, basically, a heater can't keep up with it. We're going to solve that problem, I certainly hope. 194. All right. Uh, let's turn the fans off. Uh, fan off. And we will then see, hopefully, 190.5. See how quick that happened in less than a minute? Right. We dropped a ridiculous amount. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to insulate the uh, the heat block. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, so what are we going to need for this project? This is probably the most important thing. Um, this is extra fine ceramic fiber fireproof utility roll from Frost King. I uh, got it on the internet, got it uh, on uh, Amazon, and um, you can buy smaller sheets of it or whatever. I, I bought this. It's supposed to be 12 by 24. A roll. It's really flattened out and kind of nasty. Um, so points. Take away points from the uh, the vendor for like doing kind of a crap job of like making sure it's arrived in a, an actual roll. Uh, it kind of comes apart like that, which is ridiculous. But anyway, um, fortunately for me and this job, it really doesn't matter. And it's pretty cheap, and uh, we're going to actually use just a tiny bit of it. Now, I've made these little templates. Uh, this is the first version. It's a little cardboard, and I just uh, basically measured the heating block of my uh, extruder, and um, or the, of my hot end, and that was the first version. Then... I did this one, and um, uh, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. This was like the real dimensions, and, and I wanted it to really kind of like be able to surround it. So I, I'm going with the bigger one there. Uh, it's just on a piece of paper, and I'm just going to take it and put it on here. And this, the other, we're going to basically need uh, all we need is some of this insulation, uh, some uh, Captain tape. Where's Captain tape? I mean, it just shows up in terms of my house for some reason. Uh, the moment I started doing like 3D printing, I don't remember ever buying any specifically. It just keeps like showing up. Um, you know, maybe it was in uh, various printers or, you know, kits I bought or whatever. Just it magically shows up. All right, so I'm gonna just cut that to size. Uh, no points taken off for neatness here, I guess. I don't know, it's good to do a good job, but um, this is all going to get covered up by tape in a minute. Using Captain tape is important, Captain, Captain, uh, because it all has to be very heat resistant. This is a obviously it's going on your hot end, so if it's not heat resistant, it's going to kind of suck and burst into flames and do terrible things. Uh, okay. Whoops. We're going to use these little bits. And uh, 
put on some glasses so I can see. Uh, it's important to make sure we don't accidentally leave any little bits of paper in there. Because, yeah, that'd be bad. All right. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to take this pen and mark these holes. Just remember roughly where they are. And we've got a special high fluting tool. We don't need that anymore. I like making nice round holes. And um, holes have to be a little bit oversized because the um, nozzle is a little bit bigger than that. So I just kind of nibble around the hole a little bit. That's good enough. And the other hole is to accommodate the wiring. And that's going to be a little oversized as well. Uh, the, not just the wiring, it's the um, the wire for the uh, the heater, the actual heating element. And I'm going to cut a little slot here. So that uh, basically becomes a little thing here. Now my heating... Let's see, I'm at... 23 degrees at the moment, um, which isn't too bad, so we can go with that. I'm not going to get burnt if I touch it. Yeah. Body temperature is like uh, 37. Okay, I uh, have to apologize. I kind of jumped forward in the video here because uh, the camera was like pointing in an odd position and I didn't really realize it. So um, what you see here is we've got the uh, the insulation put up around the uh, the heat uh, the, the hot ends uh, heating block there. I'm going to put a little bit more Kepton tape on here. Uh, if you hear any double audio, it's because I'm sort of um, narrating on top of a pre-recorded video here. But you'll get the idea. Uh, so I'm going to part my wrist and arm in the way. You get the idea. Basically, you want to wrap it in Kepton tape. Make sure it's really secure because you don't want it dropping down into your print at some point, falling off and ruin a you know, 30 hour long print or something like that. Alright. Now we're going to put the uh, uh, the basic, uh, the cooling, the, the neck, what is it called? The heat break, the heat beak, heat break uh, fan back on. And this is a fan that's on, on, on at least on the E3D uh, hot ends, this is a fan that's on all the time. It's basically to make sure that the uh, uh, the filament doesn't uh, melt too high up in the uh, in the hot end. So put that in place. Put my fans back in place. Uh, kind of tip things down. I have to make sure it's not going to like rub on the on the uh, bed. So uh, gonna aim them just right. Looks about right. Yeah. Okay. And now let's see what the results are. Okay, the moment of truth. Uh, I've preheated the uh, nozzle to 230. You can see here. Here we are. I'm going to pop over to the control screen and hit fan on. All right, drum roll. Mm -hmm, 229, 228.9, 229, big, 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 big difference, right? It can hold the heat. So now I can blast my print with air and uh, cool off things for crazy overhangs. So uh, tune in later to see how well it works. Okay? Uh, I might meet it up in the meantime. All right, so it's maintaining 230 with the fans on full craziness. Okay, take care.